hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video we will be exploring terminologies used in forest if you are new to forest or looking to expand your knowledge you have come to the right place so let's jump right in Before we dive deeper into the world of forestry, it is crucial to understand some basic terms and jargon that you come across. So let's get started. The first term is to go long, which means to buy. When a trader tells you that they want to go long on a currency pair, it means they bought the pair. On the other hand, to go short means to sell. If a trader tells you that they went short on a currency pair, it means they sold the pair. As you soon discover, forex trading revolves around buying and selling different currency pairs. Moving on, we have bullish market, which refers to a market that is going upwards. When someone tells you that a currency pair or commodity is bullish, it means it's going up. Conversely, a bearish market is a market that is going downwards. If someone tells you that a currency pair or commodity is bearish, it means it's going down. It's important to note these terms in your exercise books or jotters as we progress with this training. In forest, we often refer to buyers as bulls and sellers as bears. So when you hear someone mentioning bulls or bears, they are talking about buyers or sellers in the market. Moving on, we have ranging. A market is said to be ranging if it doesn't have a particular direction. It's neither moving upwards nor downwards. Conversely, a trending market has a clear direction. It's either moving upwards or downwards. So you may hear people say a market is trending upwards or trending downwards. If the market is just ranging, it means it hasn't found a clear direction yet. Now let's talk about Orkish. And dovish. These terms are mainly used when referring to central bank, governors or personnel of a country. When they are hawkish, it means they are liberal on interest rates and may be willing to increase them. This is generally good news for investors. On the other hand, when financial personnel are described as dovish, it means they are very restrictive and do not want to tamper with the interest rates. In fact, they may even want to reduce them. This can be considered bad news for investors. Another important term is NFP, which stands for Non-Farm Payroll. It is a significant news event in the US that can have an impact on the forex market. We will delve deeper into this topic in a later video. Additionally, most currency pairs have specific names they are commonly referred to. For example, the US dollar is sometimes called the greenback. The British pound is known as the cable. The New Zealand dollar is called the kiwi. The Australian dollar is referred to as Aussie. And the Canadian dollar is called the loonie. Oil is referred to as the black gold. We will explore more of these currency pair names as we progress with the training. Here you have it, an overview of some essential terminologies used in forest trading. Understanding these terms, you will be better equipped to navigate the forest market confidently. Thank you for watching this video. If you find it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more informative videos on forest trading. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comment below. Stay tuned for more existing content and until then, peace out. Love you guys.